Hello and welcome to today's video. This is Tuesday, October 18th, 2011's video, and I'm going to be showing you how to record your uh, desktop screen on a Mac. Now, this is pretty simple to do. Uh, if you've seen any of my videos, I do 90% of my videos like this. And I thought I'd just touch on a few applications that I uh, do strongly recommend. Now the first one is uh, ScreenFlow. It can be found in the Mac application store. Just go to the App Store uh, if you're running 10.6 or later. Just type in ScreenFlow and then go, uh, just click on it. It's $100. I know a lot of people who use it, a lot of professional screencasters, I would say, uh, do use ScreenFlow. It has really good ratings in it. And I uh, would definitely recommend ScreenFlow. I've done, I'll do more uh, reviews on all of these apps later. Um, the next uh, application I would recommend is uh, Screenium. Just go to Google and type in Screenium. Screenium. And then here it is. You can download trial or buy it for $29, which is a lot less than uh, ScreenFlow. Uh, I, I have bought it. Let me open it up. Here it is. Uh, you can't edit the videos once you've recorded them, but you have your media library. Uh, here it is. You can move uh, different videos to the trash. Hockey, set all of them. Uh, lots of different uh, settings um, in here, and I would re definitely recommend uh, Screenium for beginner screencasting editors. I mean, screencasting makers. Um, I've been doing this for a while now. ScreenFlow is definitely my best bet because so many uh, different editing uh, tricks you can do, but uh, I would definitely recommend uh, Screenium. The next that I would recommend for uh, less advanced people, I would say, is I show you HD or just I show you. So just go to Google and type I show you HD Mac or Pro, whatever. Come up here shiny white box and you can download the pro any of these you want um, I have it in my apps folder right here then here it is this is a demo I'm just gonna click use demo and then you have your basic settings up here um, oh junk didn't mean to press that no this is a fail There we go. Um, let me make this a lot smaller. It's not a very uh, fast application, but it it's definitely uh, serves its purpose. Uh, it makes the one good thing about it, um, aside from all its slowness, is that it makes very uh, small output files in moderate quality. That's pretty good. ScreenFlow and Screen both make uh, rather large output files, but very good quality. I have no idea what it's doing there. As you can see, we can just go ahead and fiddle with all these settings. Um, so those are the three applications that I recommend for you to be able to record your desktop screen. If you want to know what I'm using right now, I'm using ScreenFlow right here. I've um, been using it for a while now. I definitely love it. There's always new tricks you can learn uh, with all the new updates, and I would definitely recommend ScreenFlow and, well, basically ScreenFlow on top of any other uh, screen recording uh, application. So thanks for watching. Make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe if you like the video. Give me any suggestions you want me to do on the video. I'll try my best to get back to you and respond to them. Thanks for watching. Catch you later.